Hi everyone, I'm hopeful that all you will be fine. In the last session, we have discussed regarding the meeting joining security options, what we have inside the meeting creation payload when we are going to schedule a meeting using the Zoom Meetings REST API, okay? I have described all the options in the last session. If you are a new here and you are also interested regarding the meeting joining security options inside the meeting creation payload, then just you need to navigate to my Zoom integration playlist from my channel and watch this session and come back here. Okay. And today's session, we will discuss how you can actually enable the registration on a meeting. So for the registration, we need to set the settings object inside the payload, inside the meeting creation payload and inside the setting object we need to set the approval type field value of type integer and we can set any one value from this set. Either we can set value zero, either we can set value one to enable the registration on that meeting. By default, value of this approval type field is two. That means no registration required for that meeting. Okay. If you are setting here value zero, that means you are going to enable the registration on a meeting and you are also allowing the Zoom to auto approve the registrants. Okay. And if you are going to say it here value one, that means you are going to enable the registration on a meeting, but you are going to approve the registrant manually. So the host and co-host will be able to approve the registrants. Okay. Now we need to do a small demonstration on that. So I'm just going to start the API first. Okay. So here we need to say AMP and start. Then we need to navigate to the browser. Okay. And here we just first need to authorize. So we say, API Zoom authorized. We are successfully authorized. Now we need to open the Postman. Inside the Postman, inside the Learn with Nail collection, we have a Zoom create meeting. Okay. Here we are just going to create a meeting without setting the settings options, and then we will see what we are getting in the response. So just click Send. And we have successfully scheduled a meeting. You can see inside the response. And here you just need to type approval type. You can see the approval type is two. That means on this meeting, we do not have enabled the registration. You can also review that meeting settings from the zoom.us slash meetings. Okay. So you can see here this meeting is scheduled. Just click on that meeting. And you can see on this meeting, we do not have enabled the registration. You can see there is a no any registration there. Okay. Now we can delete this meeting. And we do not have any meeting. Now navigate back to the postman. Okay. And now we need to set the settings object. Here we say settings. And inside the setting, we need to set the approval type. Approval type. And we are going to set zero. That means we are going to enable the registration and the registrants will be auto approved. So now just click send. And we have successfully created the meeting. Now just search the approval type. You can see here is approval type zero. That means we have enabled the registration on that meeting. Just refresh this meeting tab. And now just click on this meeting. You can see we have a registration tab now. That means we have enabled the registration on this meeting. And you can see we have also a registration link here. Okay. And once you click on the registration, you can see we have set it the automatically approved. Okay. Now let's delete this meeting once again. And navigate back to the postman. And here we can set one. And now just send once again. And you can just find the approval type field. You can see the registration is enabled, but the approval type is manual. You can refresh once again the meeting tape. Just click on this meeting. You can see we have a registration link and we have enabled the registration. Click on this. And you can see the manually approved registration is enabled. Okay. And you can also see inside the registration options, we have three different type of options. We can also enable or disable those options from the payload. Okay. So now we just need to first delete this meeting. Okay. So just navigate to the meeting step and click on delete button, delete. And then we just need to navigate the postman. And we first need to enable the close registration option. Okay. The close registration field will enable or disable the meeting registration after the start time is expired. So if you are interested, once start time is expired and you are going to disable the registration on that event, then you need to set the 
close registration field to do. Okay. Now save this once again, and we need to create a meeting. Okay. We have created the meeting. Now just find here close registration. You can see it is a true. Now you get to the meeting step, and here you can see once you click on this meeting, and inside the registration tab, you can see the close registration after meeting date is enabled. Okay. You can also disable these options. These options by default enabled allow registrant to join from multiple devices and show social share buttons. So you can find inside the payload, you can see here we have a show share buttons. You can disable those by default. This option is enabled. You can disable that by setting value false. And you can also find multiple devices. So you can see we have allow multiple devices field. You can also disable that field by setting value false. Okay. So we are setting the false here and we are setting false here. We have already seen that by default, these two options are already enabled. So for this demonstration, I'm just going to disabling that. Okay. So now we first need to delete this meeting and we need to navigate back to the postman. And from here, we need to send request once again. And we have successfully created the meeting. Now you can find here, allow multiple devices. You can see it is disabled and you can also see show share button is disabled. You can navigate back to the meeting step refresh that and just click on the meeting and here you can see inside the registration you can see only the close registration after meeting date is enabled and bottom two options are disabled okay so i am hopeful that you have enjoyed this session if you have any query regarding this session then just please place your queries inside the video comment section either you can share your queries and suggestions via my share contact details hopefully we will come back in another session regarding that what other options we have regarding the registrants, okay, so that we can configure inside the payload. Take care. Bye-bye.